fade that or crash <laughs> no out. I mean, everybody thinks that we're just breaking stuff everywhere, you know. Right, every time right. that thing comes out, I'm gonna I'm gonna trim that. I'm telling you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back in the studio with uh, Roger James, and Roger, it's great for you to be with us. So I mean, we've been talking about doing this for a long time. I tell you, Roger's a lot of fun to hang out with. Well, we've had uh, we've had some good parties, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, your birthday. But anyway, Roger, <laughs> I know there you've got some other very important things that are, are you know close to your heart, and I want you just to let them out. Uh, yes, you know, um, there's a couple things I've got to you know do that I'm working on right now, and. Uh, the foremost, I always, every, you know, everything I do, I always thank God, you know, he, he directs my life, and always, as usual, you know, I give him thanks and give him the credit to all, um, everything I do. You know, and that's a, that's a very important part of this, too. Um, you know, I know from, uh, I, I tried it my way for 56 years, and then once I got, got right with the Lord, it, my life has never, I've been very successful, and uh my life's never been better. I mean, it's just, it, it's a shame it takes everybody so long or something drastic to happen to get, to, to make that happen. That's why I put that yeah. break and plate at the end. That's for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's about right, you know. That's about right. You know, that's just, this, you know, um, Captain, that's just the way I was raised in uh, the my spiritual side of my uh, family and stuff like that to where we're always uh, raised that way and always give thanks to everything we have and in fact when I'm eating you'll always notice I leave something behind I do that too and I don't you know and I I always I, said I that was for that last little bite for the angels oh yeah. I could I could eat it all I mean I have no problem <laughs> eating that <laughs> But I, I usually leave something behind, and that's just, you know, I've always been that way. And, um, you know, and all that, I'm working on a project with John, and we've got this great project coming up. And uh, one's about the music that we're doing, and it's about the, the cultures and the two cultures, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Hispanic mm -hmm. and the Native Mm -hmm. bringing the two together and it has a little bit more upbeat with the Native American and the Native American will have the drum and the flute and everything else mm -hmm. but it has the has the style that John does and as I explained it to you earlier John has that style like the Moody Blues and I, I know he's going to do a great job on this Yeah, and uh, we're going to work together very well on this well we We've um we've discussed it for quite a while, right? We know we've been oh, talking yes. about it, and we got to know each other really good. And um, but you know, um, it's like you know, for those who don't know, my wife is Japanese, right? And um, so I'm very uh, very close to the culture. It's all you know, it, as far as a lot of teaching I've learned from it, right? Reiki and uh, meditation, you know, martial arts and stuff like that. But one of the things I would say is that my wife knows this because you know she knew this for years, even before I met you, right? Yes. That I've always felt, you know, that I wanted to be, you know, do something related to American Indian, you know, culture because I always loved it, you know, watching the documentaries and culture, and I felt some kinship. And my wife would always say, you know, you in your life, and and you know, we you I know you believe this also is that you come back, but you you were here before, and you come back again, and you try to fix things that were wrong maybe one time in your past life, and you come back to do better and better and better. Some people call it karma, you know, there's different ways of believing it. But I feel that, you know, I felt this necessity to want to do this musically because for those who don't know me, I'm very into world music and I love doing a lot of things that tie in cultures and they have a message behind it, you know. So I, when Roger wanted me to do this, uh, you know, he saw me, I jumped up and said, yeah, man, I want to do it, man, you know, like, you know, I'm like, you know, all for it, you know, and, and now... It's coming into fruition, and it's coming very close. Where we're, we're getting ready to start, and um, I'm gonna—I want this to be one of those type of songs where your hairs stand up, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and if it and if it sheds and make you shed a tear, then then uh, then we've even even did better. You know? Oh, we and have I, so I, many different ideas, John, yeah. about that. And it is just you know, remember we talked about um, how things, how we meet, and everything all rolls together, and right. It, it it wasn't just an accident. It was it, that's the way it's supposed to be. And, and I'm glad I'm glad you bring that up because you know for artists that are listening out there, um, sometimes they work as being an individualist. And it's and in today's culture, right? 
with the iPhone and the whole yep. thing. People are divided. And I remember growing up when I was a kid, and my uh, you know my aunt, uh, aunt uh, Luz, Luz Maria, right? She'd throw these parties. And we were all, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. You know, all of us, they, they all had jobs and stuff like that. But, you know, one person would bring the bananas, the other one bring the pasteles, the other one bring the rice. You know, of course, people would bring the rum, you know, and the beer and all the stuff. And it was this one massive party. And it was, a, and, and they, w- they just didn't play Spanish music. They played rock and, you know, everything back in the 60s. It was in the 60s. Mm-hmm. And when I grew up like this, I said, I don't want this to ever stop. You know, I, I love that, you know, the feeling, right? So, you know how we met, right? We met over the over the radio, but, you know, we had a party not too long ago, and I'm not talking about my birthday, okay? So, <laughs> I'm talking about the party that known as <laughs> the, the, the return of the worm party. Oh, the one we shot, the video. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So, we had this party, and I met him. Um, Harold and I became more closer, right? And, uh, and um, so, anyway, long story short, it was a gathering of some great people. Yeah, that was a wild Earth. night. Yeah. But but the thing was, look what's happening now. Look what's, what's oh, going. Well, it's it's getting bigger, and that right. you know, we, Joan and I, I know we talked about this. Now we've all talked about this, and there wasn't just an accident. That we all got together, and right. now it's going to a different level of what the project. Right. And uh, not only are we just working on the music, John, as if we're working on another and making a short film. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, they give the you know the non Native Americans. The, a little bit more understanding about the different cultures and how the cultures and how the Native American have a, a different uh, area. You're talking like maybe like a, a combination music video documentary yeah. type yes. thing. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, we want to talk a little bit and uh, we don't, because of your advice Captain Hook, <laughs> we can't really <laughs> talk about it because we don't want nobody to take our ideas, but um, well, We've it, seen it, it happen too many times. So, yeah, you know. it, it happens, it happens. But we're really, you know, but you can tell our energy. We're excited about oh, it. We'd yeah. like to talk about it. But it, the thing is, is what it's going to be about, and this, this we can say, it's going to be, it's going to show the importance of where you come from. You know, you have roots too. You know sure. what I mean? You know, you're what? You're half Italian. Mm-hmm. Half, half German. Half mm-hmm. German, right? So mm-hmm. you have your roots, right? And mm-hmm. I know you're, you're right. Italian, you know, so that's part of, that's part of what we all have, right? So, you know, when we're going to do this, it's going to be one of those things when people see it, they're going to go like, wow that's that's cool you know and it's going to be educational i want it to be you know and he you know we we agreed on you know we're talking about it but we don't want to either but it's not going to be you know it's not going to be this how you call soft thing either it's going to it's going to be it's going it's to gonna have a different different yeah. side it's going to have an edge that, it's going to have an edge i'll have a different way of doing it and so will john so yeah. that would there would be the two coming together right right yeah it'll be interesting to see what happens of course when that all takes place we'll have it back on here on Born a Musician. And That'll we'll be probably be season it. three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it's all finished and everything. yeah, Right, yeah, of right. course. Because we plan on doing eight shows this season, and then after the first year, we'll do another right. eight shows. So well, that's, the, that's the plan. But uh, Roger's a, a good friend of the radio stations, a good friend of mine, and, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to be with him, I'll tell you. And Roger, when, how about when he played the other night? I'm beating this into the ground, but... Uh, Wendy, you know, since you mentioned uh, doing a collaboration like this, and I th- heard him play Seminole Wind, I can just imagine bringing in the drums and the flute with that, and and uh, with John's uh, that oh, that yeah. sound that, it hits. That, it, that, you, know? you know, has like I said, uh, you bring in different cultures into the mix, and right. uh, to that it brings it a whole different level. It has a different sound to it, yeah. as you seen uh, the other night when. Right. John brought the whole house down with on Harold Jones band. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna st- and uh, at the same time <laughs> Harold out, Jones was just like wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think I we think were <laughs> all just like wow. Th- and Harold was supposed to be the star, but John kind of <laughs> kind of John kind of uh, just, just took over, and I, even Harold was sitting there amazed watching it. It was fun to watch. It watched the band. It was wa- a great. The band sound. was watching you. <laughs> that was funny. It was a good sound. But, you know, and you were talking about spirit. You know, I was telling him, and um, this is interesting, um, and I, we, and, uh, and I, d- I want to talk about this, but I'm, I don't want to, like, say this the wrong way, right? And I talked to Sir Orlando, right? I said, you know, I'm doing these gigs, and I'm just drinking water, right? You know, because back in the heydays, it was a little bit different, right? Yeah. But, but you know, what, I, what, what part of this thing is is that 
I'm very happy that uh, that you know, and I've done this before. It's not like the first time, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you, I wish you guys could watch what Hook's doing. He's bad, man. <laughs> he's, he's bad. <laughs> so anyway, back in you know, we all have, what we'll I have mean to get video. <laughs> what I'm trying to say to everybody is is that you don't need to be like super high and all this stuff to get feel, and feel makes you high. Right. You know, it's a natural high, and so people watch me, and they probably think. Yeah, he must be doing some lines or something like that. Because yeah. where is that coming from? No. no, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, but some people, some people do that. I've had people ask me that before, right. you know, and I say no, that's natural, man. And and so what we're doing, we, Roger and I are doing, is to show that is a, it is it is about being natural. The spirit is very important, you know, and the spirit is you know, and I'm not trying to be a philosopher or anything like that, but I'm just saying. When you do music, people get confused and they think, "Well, I need a little something to get me going." Right. No, you don't really need anything. All you need is, you know, I, and I say this a lot to a lot of musicians. I say, "What do you want more? Do you really love music, or do you really love the drugs or the alcohol or whatever it is that you know term that you think you need to make you play?" Well, I pick music, and and I don't need anything. Now, I'm not going to say that we're together all of us because we're dear friends right and i love you guys that you know it's a nice situation so i have a beer and what the heck right you know yeah. what i mean but in a normal situation i, w- I, w- I want to keep it where i want to just be n- right. you know be natural because there's nothing better than being in the zone and when you come out of it you know you feel something you know it's like something you know it's like angels on your side, man. Well, you, you know? certainly done a good job there the other night, John. He just, <laughs> I, just, I he couldn't believe it. Hey, he was in the zone, wasn't he? Uh, he was. Uh, he was there. It had a good, sweet sound to that. It was, that was like all natural. And that's the same thing, you know. When I do the Native American dance, and that just kind of puts you in the zone. And the, right, you're exactly right, right John. Right. You really don't need anything. And uh, you know what? What moves me is. And I do my dances, my traditional dances. If anybody's ever seen the, the powwows in the areas of uh, Florida, you'll see a lot of these dancers. And what turns them on is a lot, you know, is the gift of uh, their their grandfathers and grandmothers that passed on mm-hmm. that uh, they they given that blessing to dance, and you can feel it when you're out there, and it just kind of moves you. So I understand in the same lines with that with you, John. Mm-hmm. Right, and um, so. You, you can see where this conversation that's how deep and the, I've that, seen that that's how John that, the other night that's <laughs> how deep this project that Roger and I are going to I mean it's going to be you know oh, I'm totally through. looking forward to it I'm just I'm, I'm sorry we don't have video yet I think down the road we're going to have Orlando what's gonna wrong have, with you no we're going to have video on, <laughs> on, on this show on WDVFradio.com and uh because if we had video, I I would beg Roger to get up and 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 show us a couple of dances. <laughs> you, I would. I'm, I'm going to tell you once upon a time. I hope I'm not being politically incorrect here, but but I'm, you know, there's always a risk of that with Captain Hook around. So, but but uh, I had a friend. We were uh, uh, my friend who was. I'll mention his name, Howard Tommy, who was a former uh, chairman of the Seminole Indians, and he was sponsoring um, a, a race car team. And uh, we were at Road Atlanta, and it looked like it was going to rain. I said, and I called him Chief, just out of love, you know, because, you know, I was his pilot, and we were, I was very close with him. And uh, I said, uh, Chief, I, I need you to do an anti-rain dance. Is there such a thing? And he goes, yeah. He goes, you just do the rain dance backwards. And he <laughs> got out there and did it. Mm-hmm. And it was great. So I don't know. Did you ever hear that before? I mean, yeah. I'm well. If somebody's in distress about something, they usually, you know, when they'll go out down to the circle and dance backwards. Okay. Really? And there is a the, yeah, That's there is a dance. They'll do. They'll da- they'll dance That's in to distress. reverse the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. Like wow. if somebody, if they're mourning for a family, or they'll dance, they'll dance backwards. Well, Roger, do you have a website or a Facebook I place do. that people can come look at you? Yeah, I do have it on my Facebook, and um, and I'll have a lot of my um, pictures and stuff out there as as far as anybody sees my dancing and everything I do. Okay. And um, like I said, Captain Hook, I'm working on the project, and um, and I've got another big thing coming up, and. And I'm not supposed to say anything oh, about it, nope. and uh, you nope. know it might pull me out of Florida for a little while. But uh, you know I'm always going to be back here. Well, you know we always so, got. So what's the website? What's the website? Roger James. It's Facebook. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it'll be on uh, Power Four Mountains Facebook. Okay. 
so if you look it up you'll see the the business side of uh, Facebook of, of Roger James and it'll be on Power 4 Mountains. Well Roger we sure appreciate you being with us today and you know we, we've got Skype so no matter where you are what project you're working on we can Skype in with you and put you right on the Oh air. that'd be great. So, Roger thanks a so, lot buddy. So are you going to bring back the Pegasus for Orlando? You know that's right baby if you don't bring it back the way I gave it to you maybe you can fix a wing or a leg but if you don't bring it back the way I, 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 gave, I gave it to you, I swear, I, listen, I can't see you, but I can feel you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Roger James wow. with us today. Thank you so much, that was, Roger. That was a strange one. I know it. I know it. What can you do? We'll be back in a minute.